Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to show you how I'm uh, adding my wheat bran to my pasteurized fuel pellet blocks now. Uh, I kind of switched it up and I found a method I like, so I wanted to show it to you. Uh, I'm doing some standard pasteurized fuel pellet blocks here. I just have my two pounds of fuel pellets. I'm adding my two pounds, 13 ounces of water. Uh, I did put about a half a teaspoon of gypsum in these blocks as well. I'm using uh, this for wheat bran. This is just from the baking aisle at my grocery store. Uh, you can get it at uh, feed stores as well. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, this is a little cleaner. Uh, so I've been experimenting with this as, uh, you know, in the pasteurization before I moved to the, uh, the dirtier brand that's dirtier, but a lot cheaper. So we'll try that next. But for now, I have a few bags of this. So what I figured out is if you do one level cup, of this into a, uh, a two pound dry fuel pellet block, it works out to just over 5%. And that's where I've been trying to stay is kind of around 5% for my supplementation with my pasteurization experiments so far. Instead of adding the cup directly to the bag with the dry fuel pellets, uh, what happens is especially it's winter time now, it's all staticky in here, dry, um, all that, those wheat, wheat bran pieces will stick to the inside of your bag and they kind of make a mess and it's they get caught up in your seal where you're trying to impulse seal it so what i'm doing now is i'm weighing out my two pounds 13 ounces of water into my container here and then uh, right away i'm adding a level scoop of wheat bran right into the water and then i quickly dump it into the bag and then i impulse seal and put it in a bin for the pasteurization um, it works well but you have to be quick because if you wait too long, the wheat bran will settle to the bottom and kind of clump up. But as long as you move pretty quickly, uh, it works out really well. So I'm gonna demo one now and show you how it looks. Oh, that was perfect. So even though I'm adding extra bran, I'm still going with the two pounds, 13 ounces of water. Still seems to be pretty good hydration level. If you're going to go like 10% bran, a higher level, I would add maybe an extra ounce or two of water to compensate. <clears throat> but just going 5%, it seems to work out fine. Things in there, no brand stuck to the sides of the bag. And as I mentioned in my other videos, when you impulse seal, make sure you hold that arm down. Don't pop it up right away, because a lot of times that'll that'll tear your bags at the seal. So I just hold it down for about ten seconds and release it. Should have a good seal. And then we'll just put it into our container and let it pasteurize. So if you guys are doing any brand experiments, let me know. I'm still playing with different levels. Um, seems like around 5% is giving me really good results. So if you guys are trying it, let me know how it's working out for you. Hit me up in comments and I'll catch you next video.